Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Welcome to an unexpected part two. So, I know you can see this colorful background, and I liked the colors, and I liked the cells, but it overall it didn't have the cohesive quality that I wanted. So I'm going to do something else with it, which is pretty cool, because I tried it dig digitally with my phone's editor, and uh, it worked out nicely, and that was to add the trunks of trees. So I've got just a piece of plastic refuse. I've got a bunch of them. They could come off any packaging, especially after Christmas. Save, save these plastic covers. And all sizes. Good thing, too. I mean, I have a box of them ready to go. And that's Glad Cling Rack. Rack? <laughs> that's Glad Cling Wrap. Hard to say, harder to say. And I'm going to, I press it all the way down on one side, but not on the others, because I want a reservoir. Oh, I want black paint to come out faster than that. This is my Mead and Black paint. And I don't want to have to use a whole abundant, I probably already used more than I need to. And I'm going to just, for contrast, for colorfulness, I'm going to add a little bit of Prism Pour Galaxy, Royal Galaxy. Because I think as I go along that that will be pretty. So what I'm going to do is take all these little tools that I'm going to dip to make branches. Move them out of the way for right now. Spin this around and start. I'm going to take a card. I'm going to mess it around in the paint. And I'm going to put a line in. And I might put more than one in. Because I'm planning on putting branches in and I think I'm going to try that right now. So I don't have any surprises down the line. Usually I, I use a shovel a lot of times for this. I want it to look like the branches are going up into the tree. And I also thought it would be nice to have it when it goes all the way down to the bottom. If I had a little bit of paint on a card, I could sort of imitate the look of grass standing in front of the tree trunk. I don't know how that's going to work. We'll see in a minute. And you can definitely shuffle and make the size of your trunk different just by applying a little pressure to your whatever you've decided to use. I've got a spatula. Yeah, that's going to work for me. You could use just a shorter piece for sure and just keep traveling up and down. like I'm going to do now for this. And my inclination is to come in and put in most of the trees now. My grass is square. <laughs> So the purple isn't really doing much, but adding a little bit. So that the black isn't just straight black. And I wanted to put some smaller trees in the, in the back. So it looks like a forest that's receding. And I kind of like this a lot, actually. It reminds me of the bamboo forest I did recently. I don't think I called it a bamboo forest, but that's what it looked like. I want to be a little careful. I really want to get up there in those limbs and add some twigs. I'm 
like I said, you could use something shorter and just add to it as you go up, which I kind of like the way that looks too. And widen your, widen your trunk out, not seeming to waste any paint with my little paint hammock. <laughs> And you can apply a lot of trees. I mean, you really don't need to, to sweat it. I might want a little more black even. You could use any color you want for the trunks. I just wanted it to be very dramatic and outstanding. At the risk of being boring, I'm just going to keep doing this for a while. And I'm going to flip it around pretty soon because it's not going to matter which side I'm working from. Good if you have a nice straight flat edge on your card without much paint on it because that way you can be sure it's not going to be. I kind of want to move some of these down and out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking all that. It r reminds me of a sunset behind the trees. I said I would show you, so I will show you as we go along. And I can do this upside down. I hope I'm right. Now you could just have a bunch of different length cards. I thought also I could go back in and add a little grass if I was really concerned about the bottom. I seem to be having a lot less paint than I expected, but I'm going to have to go back and check again soon. I think one more right in here. So let me have a look at that. Yeah, that's making me happy. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm not being careful enough about getting enough paint on my card, but it's not hard to fix. And if you want more trees in the background, all you have to do is just drop the card down. Makes it pretty easy. And as many times as you want. You can make it very textural if, you, if you'd like. Make them as tall as you'd like. And then you're just going to go in and add your branches after. Just have to remember to find the paint puddle in my puddle. I'm almost done. I think that one wants to be a lot longer.
I think I can actually finish this. So I should start to tell you guys that I do sell my artwork and if you'd like to inquire over the price of something or give me information about shipping or anything, it's always going to be about my email address which is below the link tree which is underneath show more underneath the video underneath the uh, color art promo code for 20% off where if you shop as an affiliate I eventually help myself out or you help me out in that case I also have an Amazon link Pinterest Instagram Twitter links all on my link tree that's pretty cool I'm not sure I need a whole lot more down at the bottom so I don't know why I'm still doing that. And I don't want to press too hard with that card. So I'm going to go back in here. I used just about all of my paint. It was sort of like the perfect amount. And I love how it looks like a forest. I really, really like that a lot forest of some kind of whacked out colorful autumn trees I guess. I know we've lost autumn, we've passed through autumn and we're definitely in winters in the thick of it. What else can I tell you? Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, I mentioned those, they're on the link tree. My Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More has access to pixels.com and Fine Art America. And also there are some Teespring clothing on, there's Teespring stuff, more than just clothing. And uh, probably Society6. There probably used to be some Sachi stuff. I think Sachi's still on my link tree. If you would ever like to find, if you would like to have something that I have not included, please don't be shy and do let me know because there are a lot of places that I can add new designs. I think I'm gonna put one right up the edge with the small card. There. I'm not sure I need to do anything to the bottom, but I'm going to... going to think about pulling with my little spatula. Pulling out my tree trunks. And the spatula is another it's a Princeton Artil Catalyst spatula and they're great for all kinds of stuff, but they're especially good, I find, for making the branches. It's nice to have a handle. And I'm going to turn around in a second, I promise I am. There, I'm pretty pleased with that. And I'm really pleased with you guys for joining me. There's over 2300 videos organized by topic and genre and you can find them by going to my YouTube channel. I'm looking for playlists, all playlists, creative playlists, or just asking me because I have them all organized and the links are all saved and ready for me to share with you. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for stopping. If I've only included this video, I will include the, the part one underneath. Also, what's underneath? <laughs> I, do, uh, I do give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, and my email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Thank you for donating to help keep the studio rolling. And uh, if you find the PayPal icon on my YouTube channel banner or the link on the link tree and you use it, I will send you an invitation to be in the monthly drawing and you can see the prizes included at the beginning of the exhibition video that I include on the end screen of this video. And uh, we'll proceed from there. I'll send you a receipt for that. Check my Amazon link. If you shop there, you help me out. And my two books are there because I can and unlimited possibilities. What else? Uh, I think I told you almost everything that I can think of. There must be something I'm missing. Well, if there is, you'll see it in another video. I love you guys. I'm going to zoom in. I love this too. This is cool. <laughs> I'll see you guys in non. Bye for now. Priscilla out.